Well, today there's a new United States Congress and a power shift in Washington. Democrats took control of the U.S. House and Tennessee has a new senator. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us. I'm Katina Rankin. And I'm Richard Ransom. Several Mid-South lawmakers were sworn in today, including Republican Senator Marsha Blackburn making history as Tennessee's first woman elected to the Senate. All this happening with 800,000 federal workers not getting paid in day 13 of the government shutdown. Today, Democrats voted on a package of bills to fund all government branches except funding for a border wall. But Republicans in the Senate say that legislation is dead on arrival. Senator Blackburn blaming Democrats for not accepting a deal that would legalize dreamers, people brought into the U.S. illegally as children in exchange for money for the wall. You need to be blaming Pelosi and the Democrats because they're not taking that offer. So if I were someone with dreamers in my family, I would be very frustrated with the Democrat leadership right now. Although another White House meeting with congressional leaders is planned for tomorrow about ending this shutdown, President Trump is warning Americans to brace for the long haul. We have team coverage tonight, including why Mississippi is among the top states impacted by the shutdown. Let's start from our exclusive Washington Bureau and Local 24 News reporter, Mark Meredith. The same. Members of the 116th Congress raised their hands and took the oath of office, cementing change in Washington, D.C. For the first time since 2011, Democrats took control of the U.S. House. Their new members represent the most diverse freshman class in history. The first order of business, electing a new Speaker of the House. It was a familiar face, former Speaker, California Congresswoman Nancy Pelosi. Thank you. Take this obligation freely. On the Senate side, Republicans increased their majority, buoyed by election victories in rural states and Florida. Lawmakers returned to Washington with much on their plate. Priority number one, solving the impasse over spending that's led to a partial government shutdown. The sticking point is funding for an expansion of the wall along the southern border, championed by President Trump and many Republicans. I want to make sure that we secure our nation's borders. The walls work. There's a problem on the border. My hope is that the Democrats will go to the table and negotiate with the president. But Democrats are largely opposed to the wall expansion plans. We've got to fix our immigration system, and we cannot fix it uh, by focusing on a, a wall. Border security is an issue that we need to continue to talk about. A solution will require lawmakers to find bipartisan compromise, but that's now true for any legislation in the newly divided Congress. Reporting from Washington, I'm Drew Petromo, Local 24 News.